Hello all, today I will show you how to install Flutter and how to develop a first application with the Flutter. So first of all, if you want to install the Flutter, then you can go to this particular link that is flutter.dev docs get started install. So you can just go to that particular link and here you can choose the operating system on which you want to install the Flutter. I want to install in the windows so I will select the windows first whenever you select the windows here the first requirement is you need a two tool one is windows powershell and another is git for the version control that for the windows in windows 10 windows powershell is already there so suppose if you are using window 10 then you can simply write powershell so whenever you write window power cell, then your command window power cell will be open, right? So this is the windows power cell. So in windows 7, the windows power cell is already installed. For git, you can just click on this particular link and you can just download the git for the windows. Here you can just click here to download manually. So whenever you click, then it will be downloaded. Now here you can just choose the directory in which you want to download the gate so you can just simply click on save once it is downloaded then you can just click on the exe so it will ask you for the uh, allow this app to make the changes to your device so you can just click on yes then you can just click on next you can choose that let the gate decide then you can use the open ssh you can just go for the default fast forward or much then you can choose the default option and you can click on install so it will take a few minutes to install the gate on your system once it is done you can just click on finish now once your power cell and gate both are installed now you can just click on the get the flutter sdk so you can just click on flutter windows stable.jp so it will ask you to save the file so i'm just clicking on which folder you want to store this i want to store in the download folder so you can just click on save and this will be downloaded once it is downloaded you can just open that particular folder and then you can just double click over here now in which directory you want to extract this flutter folder at that particular folder you can just simply move drag and drop so i have one folder that is in e drive i have the folder that is development here in development folder i want this flutter folder so you can just simply move drag and drop into your development folder so this file will be extract into the folder that is development so once the extraction is done the flutter folder will be available in the de development folder so here in my development directory flutter folder is extracted now you can just simply double click on flutter and then you can just click on the flutter console windows batch file you can simply double click over here and you will get the message that the flutter so this is the welcome to the flutter console now i want to set that the flutter should be run from any directory in the command prompt right in short whenever i write in the command prompt if i write flutter then should not give me an error that is the flutter is not recognized as an internal or external command so what to do in this particular case very simple you can just go to in the bin directory and up to this you can give the path into environment variable so you can just right click on your this pc and then you can click on properties and here in properties you can just click on the advanced system setting and here in environment variable you can just click on the path and then you can click on edit here you can just click on new and here you can add the path that is e drive development flutter bin now you can just click on ok 
you can click on OK and once it is done, now you can open the command from. Now here, you can simply write a flutter. So whenever you write flutter, if it doesn't give any error, then you can say that the flutter is installed successfully in your system. So it is checking for the bit transfer. What it is doing? It is simply downloading the Dart SDK from the Flutter engine. It is unzipping the Dart SDK. It will build the Flutter tool. Run. It will run the pub upgrade. Now it says that you are welcome to the Flutter. So Flutter tool is uses the Google Analytics, right? And uh, you can see the Google's privacy policy if it is required. Then you can visit the policies.google.com privacy. Now the Flutter is installed. You can write the command Flutter and you will get the list of the available command. If it lists all the commands, it means that the Flutter is installed successfully in your system. Now you can fire the command that is Flutter Doctor. Using Flutter Doctor, you can check that the existing software, that is system required software is installed or not. So if you look over here, that is in a path, then you can say that the Flutter SDK, once it is done, you can update your path. I already updated my path with the Flutter Bean. Then once Flutter Bean is done, now you can run the command that is Flutter Doctor. We can write the Flutter Doctor to check that it is all the dependency is installed successfully in my system or not. So you can write the command that is Flutter Doctor. Whenever you write the Flutter Doctor, it will check for all the dependency. Is all the dependent software are installed in this particular system or not? If it is not, then it will give the warning. Now, if you look over here, then it says that the Android toolchain developed for Android device and uh, it is not the uh, some Android license not accepted. To resolve this, you can run the Flutter Doctor with Android licenses. So you can just copy this particular command and you can run again this particular command that is Flutter Doctor Android licenses. Now it will ask for the accept the license so you can just type y you can accept it you can accept all the license once all the license are accepted flutter doctor once it is run perfectly now you can check that the android studio and versions are that is uh, you can say that the Flutter plugin not installed. We will not use the Android Studio for the development of the Flutter application. So right now I'm not interested to resolve this. Now I want to develop the first application in the Flutter. But before you want to develop the first application in the Flutter, if Android Studio or if emulator is not installed, then you can just use the Android setup from here. You can install the Android Studio, you can set up the Android device, then you can set the, that is Android emulator. Now I want to start my emulator, so I'm just starting the Android. Once your Android is started, once your Android launcher screen is launched, here you can just click on the configure and then you can click on AVD manager. Here from AVD manager, you can just launch Emulator. So once you click on play, it will start the AVD and your emulator will be launched. Once your emulator is launched, we will run our first application in this emulator. So I want to develop my first application. So how we can do this? It is very simple. This is my emulator. Now I want to develop my first application in which folder? So I want to develop this application in the folder that is e drive development folder i want to create over here the first application right so i will just move to this particular drive and i will just move to cd e drive so now here i will just move to the folder that is development here in development folder i will write flutter create 
Now here you can give the name of your application. So I'm just giving the name of my application is my first app. So whenever you write here that is Flutter create application name. So the folder my first app will be created over here in this particular folder that is in development folder and it will say is that all done. Once it is done now whenever you create the application using the flutter command my first application will be created over here. Now you can simply move to that particular directory by writing cd my first app. And whenever you move to that particular app using the cd command now you can simply write a command that is flutter run. So whenever you write flutter run that your first application will be run on the emulator. So what it will do it will simply run the gradle task and it will give you a message that is assemble debug. Sometimes it taking so much time so you can simply clean the gradle if it is required. Now once application is run here you can see that the flutter demo home page is loaded over here. You can just click on the plus this is the default application and number of times you push the button this many times the message and the number of times you click this button plus the counter will be displayed over here. So this is the first flutter application I just created using the create command and I run with the run command. So this is the way you can install the flutter in your system and you can run the first application in Android emulator. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.